There is a wide diversity of designs when it comes to electric vehicles, but they do need a few capabilities in order to become feasible. Cost effectiveness is vital in such a craft, so it needs to have a price range which is affordable to the end user. It also requires quick turnaround times, so it needs a redundant battery system, or it could even have a hybrid drivetrain. But the most important feature is that it needs to have adequate speed and range. So that means that it needs to have both the range of a light conventional plane along with its VTOL capabilities. And that would give it a competitive edge over conventional aircraft. So let's take a look at some of the best designs out there. Starting at number 7, the Formula Project. Remember that slightly dangerous but awesome hyperbike? Well, now the same company is building a new mini transport vehicle which can achieve 186 mile range and a 150 mile per hour top speed. It utilizes the Venturi engine and an assembly of ducted fans. So just like the scaled model depicted here, it should have enough maneuverability but it's definitely going to have speed limitations. The craft also has an autopilot feature for emergency landing and it also includes a ballistic parachute. I'm not sure if this thing will be able to take off and land on a normal street, but supposedly it will cost only 50 cents per mile to operate. That's number 6, the Joint Air Mobility. This is yet another helicopter hybrid, which will likely be completed in just a few years, if the company can get adequate financing. The hybrid itself is partially automated with a safety feature that can automatically land from any altitude or speed. It also features a full fly-by-wire system with glass displays. But more importantly, it is quite a bit quieter than a typical helicopter. The craft does have its limitations though, and it can only go 175 miles per hour, and it only achieves an 80 mile range, so it has a very limited flight time. Nevertheless, it is probably one of the safer vehicle designs out there. That's number 5, the Tri-Fan. Skynet is coming out with a long-range craft that can fly over 1,200 miles at 29,000 feet. It can carry 5 passengers, so it will immediately compete with smaller airplanes and even helicopters. Three ducted center fans are powered by generators, and the front two propellers are able to tilt, thereby allowing the vehicle to go 350 miles per hour. The company, XTI, claims that the unit should cost around $6 million, but the company is still quite a ways away from building its first prototype. Nevertheless, it's still a really good idea to have longer flight times with VTOL capabilities, and I'm sure if this craft does come out, it's going to be very impressive. Now we get into a strange vehicle design, and it's called the City Hawk. I have to admit, when I first saw this thing, I thought it would never fly. But the company already has quite an extensive list of intellectual property, and they have already built the impressive Comorant. The City Hawk will be based on the same technology, and it will be powered by a hydrogen fuel cell powertrain, which will allow it to have a top speed of 170 miles per hour. The rotors themselves will have around 700 kilowatts of power at 76 decibels, so it's not too loud and it should be quieter than most helicopters out there. The company also wants to build a 14-seater Falcon XP, which is pretty drastic to say the least, but hopefully the company can have working prototypes in the next few years. That's number 3, the flying Rolls Royce vehicle. It seems like everyone is getting into the electric vehicle game, and this particular concept uses a gas turbine along with batteries to generate electricity in order to power 6 electric propulsors. It would carry 5 passengers at 250 miles per hour for approximately 500 miles, but it also has a fast turnaround time because the turbine is constantly charging the system as it flies. So will Rolls Royce actually build this craft? Well, it's highly unlikely. But having said that, a lot of luxury car makers including Aston Martin have come up with their own electric retail design. That's number 2, the VA-1X. We have seen a lot of concept designs, but this particular one goes to the next level. Capable of carrying 5 people, the VA-1X will likely be the first certified electric VTOL aircraft with commercial flights planned for 2024. It's a pretty unique design with gall wings and a hedral surfacing. Once again, the aircraft is all electric, so it should be quite a bit quieter than a typical helicopter. But it's still fairly large, and it only has a 100 mile range. So you're definitely going to have to have a place to land this thing. Once again, the company has built aircraft in the past, so it's very likely that we'll see some sort of prototype in the future. We get to the great number one, and it's built by Samad Aerospace. 
So yes, I know we can play the trailer music and show another promising concept, but this particular aircraft has already been in development for quite a bit. The company is working on two versions, including the Air Starlin and the Starling Jet. The jet has an impressive range of 1500 miles and a top speed of 460 miles per hour. So it has some of the best electric VTOL capabilities. It can carry up to 10 occupants and it features a hybrid electric system. So it would have fast turnaround times and this would be directly competing with smaller jets and helicopters, which is a really good strategy for electric VTOLs. Ditching the airport altogether would be a really good idea. And the company is making quite a bit of headway with their scaled prototypes. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.